So I did a show on Thursday and I hadn't gotten your take on this yet. So there was this girl that went on the whatever podcast and a couple other podcasts. She sort of went viral. She had, you know, this crazy red hair. She got to the like 0.01% rank on OnlyFans, something like that. She went viral for saying she had this cheating fantasy and the she wanted to exclusively either, I think it was like, bang married men or men with girlfriends and things like that. That was kind of her thing. Mm -hmm. And then she recently uh, made the turn to Jesus and got baptized and got saved. And now is saying she is, was tempted by the devil and she's now saved and she's deleting her only fans. And now she's kind of, there's a, a, a video that she shared that uh, is going around Twitter right now. Uh, about a five minute long video of her testimony, so to speak. Uh, yeah, right there. And so this is uh, this is my tweet that I put out, I guess, Saturday night. Um, that went viral. So like as Should of now, play it's it? it's sort little, of like, yeah, let's let's I did this a little bit on Thursday. But yeah, let's start from the beginning if you want. And we can just kind of go through it. All right. Hang on a sec. Let me just make sure I got audio on this so we can hear it. Uh, also, yep, share yep, audio yep. tab. We're good. Let's give it a little bit of size, because chicks dig the size. Yeah, it's actually only like two minutes and change, so let's see what this chick says. I saw the whatever clip Whole of her. Whole thing's five, yeah. Oh, it is, okay, 450. Yeah, I saw the whatever clip of her going on about one, and like having a cheating fantasy, and then showing yeah. her getting baptized, so this is sort of her, I guess, her exactly. story. Here we go, All right, here we go. Be quick, I have a couple things to address, and I just need you to listen to me. So. I've had quite a few people reach out to me, comment, you know, just truly curious about what and why I changed. So, so listen, I was a pastor's kid for almost all my life. I grew up in church. I was always in church. You know, I was also homeschooled. So my life truly felt like a cage. And I'm not saying Christianity is a cage. I'm saying religion was the cage. I was a Baptist, you know, I was a Baptist pastor's child for the longest time, right? Me and my family did not have a good relationship and I'm the middle of five children. So I'm talking about my other brothers and sisters and my parents. It just truly felt like such a cage. I was a very rebellious child, like sneaking out when I was like 16 years old. I was like, I was just going the wrong way, right? So. About four years ago, I started my OnlyFans because I think truly it was out of pure rebellion. And, tr and like, honestly, I'm such a like independent person that I never felt the need for a man to provide for me, like have a man in my life to provide for me. Um, so I started OnlyFans about four years ago and I climbed to top 0.01%. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that the devil can truly give you things in this life. He has a budget though. He can only go so far. So a couple million, okay, great. The devil can do that sometimes, right? But I truly have gifts and talents. I just did not use them in the right way. And I'm reaching out to anyone who's like questioning what they should do in their life. And I turn to corn. That's what we're gonna call it, okay? So this is just me sharing my personal, personal experience with you. So I reached out and did corn for four years. Um, and I showed myself all over the internet. I said crazy things on podcasts. If you don't know the I Love Cheating podcast. Um, and so I met this person who's now my partner. And he truly showed me God's love. He was sending me Bible verses, praying over me. And we were just friends. So like the Holy Spirit was truly working and moving. But I was in such a rebellion against it. Because I was like, God doesn't love me. I've had to work this hard for this many years. Because no one cared about me. My family didn't care about me. Christianity is a cage. It's not Christianity, it's religion. Religion is the cage. And unfortunately, I didn't have like good role models growing up. My parents, my siblings, I didn't have good friends. I truly fell into darkness. And I was, like I said, I was top 0.01% creator. Like that is crazy. That is a crazy milestone to reach in that industry. So I made what I made, I did what I did, but I wanna share, you, share with you guys the truth of it all because I am now giving it all up for Christ. I am now truly a believer. I would never take it back. God radically saved me from this darkness. And let me tell you again, the devil has a budget, but God does not. God literally made you. He made this world. He made the heavens. Like what makes you think that God can't bless you with anything, but the devil will give you these things that trip you up and money in front of your face. 
and these worldly friends, your family that doesn't, isn't there for you, you know, but don't be discouraged because God has a better plan for your life. And let me tell you, I have felt and started living that plan. And since then, the money, the fame, the Gucci, Louis, whatever bags, the shoes, the clothing, the huge trips that I've taken doesn't matter because at the end of the day, do you want to go to heaven or do you want to go to hell? And my soul, I'm sorry, but it's not worth going to hell for at all. And God loves you so much that he's willing to give you everlasting life. You need to understand that your life is very temporary here on earth. And we all have a mission. And that's to preach the word of God. Okay? I love you guys. I just wanted to clear that up and share a little bit of my testimony. But there you have it. Please be nice in the comments because just remember, you are not here to judge others. God is here to judge, not you. So please, please be nice. Be kind. Be loving. Bear the fruits of the spirit. I love you guys. I love you so much and God bless. Well, there you go. So <sighs> where do we start with that? I mean, she came from a pastor's household. She was complaining that she didn't have good role models growing up. Middle child. Uh, like, you know, Christianity what, wasn't the problem. Religion was the cage, blah, blah, blah. What did the uh, comments say on this one? Uh, here, I'll throw it back up on the screen. I'm just curious yeah, what the feedback this was, was. Well, so my my tweet on it was, if you scroll up, or my commentary on it, was something along the lines of, like, women love Christianity because it's the ultimate get-out-of-jail-free card. There's no responsibility or accountability. Um, you know, and this and this is this is the kind of comments and responses you would get. Like, oh, it's a redemption story, and yeah. you're not God. Only God can judge this and that. Um the other and, and all this all this kind of stuff so it's the ultimate reset button the clean slate and what i really wanted to get across with this comment was more so like first of all women tend to be more religious than men so that's already you know you talk about what women are attracted to and sort of like the woo woo and the spirituality and all that kind of stuff like women are by by on average more more religious than men and so part of that also is because like, why wouldn't you be attracted to something? If your whole thing and your whole stick and whole spiel is biologically avoiding accountability and responsibility for your actions, and you can pass the buck onto somebody else and say, nope, I'm wiped clean. It's a clean slate and you can't judge. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't they? Uh, but this, this seems to fly directly in the face because all we ever hear from trad cons is go find a girl at church, go find a pastor's daughter, you know, go find a girl that's given her life up to God. And well, here we have even, one. Well, there you go. Exactly. And you're seeing it play out in real time. She even mentioned sh there's this guy that's sending her Bible verses, this simp, this who's, guy who that's started out friend as a friend. Zone, yeah. Who's just friends. Now he's sending while she's getting piped on camera by other dudes and he's sending her these Bible verses. And now she walks away from that and says, oh, now I will go. This guy is now my partner. And now we are together. What is her um, name? Do you know what her name is? Nala. Nala Daddy YY. Here, let me just look her up real quick on Twitter, see if I can find her. N A L A Daddy YY. Or that's her fucking uh, that's her TikTok, name, TikTok handle. Just Nala. Where is this chick? Nala Fitness sure Nala? Here, here we go, yeah, right that's here. That's probably it. Yeah, exactly. This is her? Yeah. This chick? Yeah, yeah. 21 streamer, a hago queen. What the hell does that mean? Daddy's girl. It's a porn, porn thing. And it's still here, right? Like I should probably be careful with putting that up on the screen because you know, Twitter allows porn shit like that. Okay, so this is her. And what's her, what's her scoop? 17,000 follows. Fitness Nala XO. What is this? Is this her OnlyFans or linked to something? I'm guessing that's probably her OnlyFans or... Or fan site or whatever you want to call it yeah yeah i mean like, this is the problem that i have with the christian pill it's like you know the whole you know repent your sins and you will be forgiven for your past it's like a leopard does not change its spots a leopard is a leopard right, right. And, and this chick is what she is you know she's a hoe um and you know pretending that she's not and that she should be uh you know dismissed of her past indiscretions it, it's just absurd to me it's just absurd to me it's like you know if a guy goes and murders and then he ends up in a trial. Can he just sit there and go, oh, I've repented my sins to God, so I should be forgiven. So don't lock me up or put me on the fucking electric chair. That's not how things work. Well, that's how they work in that 
faith, apparently. I mean, yeah, it's, it's ultimately the same problem I've always had as well. And so now there's, it, again, you've got people that will argue that, well, you've still got to do things. And you, but the, the muddying of the waters around, you know, religion is the cage, not Christian. Well, someone explain, like, explain to me the difference. Like, someone, what is the difference? Like, what does she mean by that? <clears throat> it, it's just word salad. I really don't know. And that's, it's, it's very common. It's just, and I think the most telling thing of this is so many people are rushing to defend because it is, it's just, oh, we're well, she is now part of this thing. She's now part of our group. And regardless of how she was in the past, she is better for it now. And now she's absolved of everything. And some guy is going to fall for it or already has. I made a comment. Somebody, somebody asked me a question. They were like, well, how is this going to affect her being a good wife or mother? I said, well, because her past is going to dictate everything when it comes to these future relationships. <laughs> if she does get married or she does have kids, they are going to be worse off than than if she had not had this checkered past. And you can kind of hear it in her voice and talking. She's like, oh, I had the Gucci bags. I've had the trips. I've had this and that. that. And I think what you're seeing is you're seeing a woman realizing that – chasing these material possessions and chasing bags and trips and all of these attention seeking behaviors is ultimately empty for most women and women are happiest when they have a loving caring relationship with their family and a husband and marriage if that's their thing and kids it's not doing all this other degenerate nonsense and so now it's like okay well I'm being faced with my consequences I've been on enough podcasts and I've gotten enough comments from people that are saying it's going to be difficult for you to find a guy that actually wants to take you seriously. You better f- fix your stuff. And now she's taking that to heart. It seems like, um, and everybody's just letting her off the hook. I mean, not everybody. And there's some people that agree. I mean, that, that tweet, like I said, had, it blew up and there's detractors, but there's supporters as well. Um, but it's fascinating to see, you know, real time. And there's another girl that I tried to get on ladies night, probably four, four or five months ago who had an OnlyFans and she was with some OnlyFans agency. And then the last two or three months she left, deleted everything off of her profile. And now she's preaching about, you know, I'm a God woman now and I've joined the church and I'm a member and I'm forgiven. And it's just, it's like right on schedule, right on, right when the doctor ordered it. So it's, um, it's a very interesting phenomenon, but not surprising. I just, I just did a search for the I Love Cheating podcast, which I've never heard of before. Nala, nothing came up. Just the clips of her on the whatever. Um, but anyway, I, I, I put a poll up over here for you guys in the uh, chat. It's it's just, you know, should should you be forgiven for your bad choices in the past? I didn't say women. I didn't say men. I just said, should you be forgiven for your bad choice in the past? I'm talking at this level. I'm speaking specifically at the level that we just use as an example. Um you know, it's it's trending sixty forty right now in favor of no, but uh, look, man, you know, I was, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day <clears throat> on a business related topic, and he's like, "Rich man, you got all these red flags. You know, how about some red flags for entrepreneurs or people in general?" And it's like they carry over, <clears throat> you know, they carry over in most realms. I mean, you know, if you've made bad choices in life uh, that tarnish your reputation. I mean, I'm a man, like my man, like, you know, the man card is, you know, your word is your fucking word sort of thing. Like when I look a man in the eye and I shake his hands and we have a deal, we have a fucking deal, right? right? Um, but women don't operate on that same level of integrity and, you know, competence and accountability that men are held to, you know, it's a totally different standard. That's fine. It's just what it is. But I still don't think that people that make incredibly bad choices that tarnish their reputation in the past should be forgiven just because they find, you know, a book that has a carve out that allows them to be reborn or if they can dip themselves in water, then they're reborn and they're fresh or whatever. Like get the fuck out of here, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here. That clips from if you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.